Welcome. We are at the uh, county crossing over here. And this is what I've developed so far. And my the personal touch that I like to add to my places is once I get the Minutemen flags, I'll post them right there. The thing that I like to note here about placing structures up on top of the large wooden shacks is there's another uh, example of utilizing the roof on the shack wall to make a little platform for those. By placing them up, placing any structure, if you can see this, there's the slanted like tin roof up there, and then there is these uh, cross beams. The placing a structure up there, sometimes it will function and lock onto the slanted tin portion. Sometimes it will sink down through that and it will lock onto these cross beams. What Snowgly is, uh, I don't have one here, but let's see if I can get this cooperate and show you. Is the windmill generator here? Those will tend to sink in and actually, if you see that, those will tend to sink in and lock onto the uh, those cross beams. A lot more often than they'll tend to snap in place on top of the uh, the actual tin shed portions up there. That's a consideration when dealing with placing turrets up there, because those will sink in sometimes, and other times they lock on here. Because if you need to move them, especially ones that require power. And a wire to be connected to them will cause you a bunch of hassle for that. It's just a consideration. Ooh, I don't like that. That's a big hole. Let me see if I can fix that. Now here's um here's something I discovered about the auto lock function here. If you rotate it a little bit. Oh, it's not going to actually lock on. With the differences of elevations, okay, that's not cooperating for whatever reason. Let me select this side. Nope. Hmm. But sometimes, with the difference of elevation like this, it could, if it could, it would be able to auto lock to this one or to the upper elevation one and simply selecting it and then painting this isn't quite right in here but painting it would um, shift which piece it auto locks to it would auto lock to either the lower elevation one or the other higher elevation one it's 3 PM. actually i should say the one that's on this side and one on this side nothing to report Stay safe out there, everyone. And here's another um, usage of the blocks. This one is in water. To demonstrate that, as well as it being uh, to help out over here with the unlevel garbage piles and terrain. This is another place that we utilize the water purifier because uh, I can. It produces a lot of water, don't have to really worry about it. And I built these here to try and protect it. But this is uh, really it. Of course, there is my little bathroom area in that. There's a Brahmin feed trough, trying to keep the Brahmin out of my way while building. 
there's the farm field. The consideration for this place is actually this wall over here. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Let me slowly, slowly walk over this way. Right here's something I like to show is the um, shack roof with an old notch in it. That one will fit in a lot more places if there is a piece of background art as compared to the full roof so you might want to consider utilizing that sometimes if uh, a piece of background art or something is blocking it will fit. Most notably is the... Uh, I wish I could show you it, but the um... The ruined kind of pre-existing structures where there's beams of it sticking up. But a consideration for this place is, oh, thank you, cellar. That helps a lot because that right where that cellar is is about where the uh, spawn endpoint is for the this enemy raiders, all day, or at least all one of them. The and you see that's well within the, the build area right here. There's also, uh, they tend to spawn there and over by that tree, which is kind of on the other side of that, um, where I have the shack foundation wall set up over there. And as I slowly walk over there, I need a better picture of that. But yeah, here, this, uh, as you see, this kind of ruined pre-existing structure, how it has these like beams and section of walls still sticking up. Utilizing that roof with the notch in it, if one of these is interfering with like placing a solid roof, you might want to try that out. Just a little tip. And also there's a spawn point right out here for enemy raiders or the synth or super mutants that are attacking these places when they're being attacked from time to time. And that is a uh, kind of crossing.